Anything can happen, and instead, it looks like it's Ivy that's going to be put under some pressure. Amanek, he, I think he could have fallen back, but actually goes back for the fight, and a great double kill will land a G2, a very strong shot at winning this opening pistol round. Definitely not uh, all done, but that was pretty cool. He almost got caught, and I think if he had kept running and backpedaling, they would have just hunted him down, so he decided, you know, to turn it against them. You've got to face those bullies every once in a while. You do, and the spacing was just barely off for Sirk and Tarek. They couldn't trade. They couldn't pin him down for a fight, and so now the bomb gets planted, at least, which is a big success for the geniuses. And Breezy gets two kills on Kenny. So they're not even going to wait for it. They're just going to try and smoke off Breeze over here. Actually throwing a flash right at him, but this has just crumbled. The three versus five, well, now turned into a one versus three, and there's nothing that Hunter could do about it. So EG will pick it up, and a nice triple kill for Breeze. So taking a little bit of damage, but also leading with a Mac 10 so he doesn't really care. Now Tarek is taking over that role, and they're going to run into Nexa. Ethan actually goes down right quick, and the grenade on top. That's a big double. He could have easily had a third there. They're in a, they're in a little bit of trouble here, EG. The bomb is on the ramp, and I don't know if they can pick it up and run back, but they're just going to follow through. They don't even want to change their minds. Oh, and that nade right. It's going to go deep and nearly blows up the entire team. That could have been the end of the round. Well, the bomb gets planted. And that's what's important now, but the flank is coming in from Nico, and it's a question of whether or not Evil Geniuses realize this. Internal clocks are ticking, and Cirque, yep, gonna start watching Brown Halls, knows that this is definitely a possibility. And so to Cirque, I mean, he's got the angle here. Nico, he's waiting for his teammates to coordinate with him, and Amanek actually catches Cirque, who was watching. That opens it up. All on Stan. <laughs> and he's gonna get shot in the back. What a turnaround, and they obviously don't have a kit, but they're gonna be able to, to pick it up anyway. I mean, that... That didn't even look like it was such a bad idea for EG, but but the fact that they lost to that Deagle first, I'm not, it looked like Ethan died. That is really going to slow them down. Now, Amanek is checking Team Main over at the A-bomb site, but it's going to be too late. They're going to have to stand on their own, and I don't think the backup will be here. Good double kill for Kenny, and he nearly took down Cirque as well, but it's still not going to really matter here. Two on three, Nico at range. And he'll get the kill and turn it into a two-on-two. -two. Amanek is finally showing up at the bomb site with a bit of a flank. But Nico, I mean, he has to... They have to talk together right now and make sure they get the timing down right. Or this could still absolutely fall apart on the retake. And they need to be pretty quick about it as well. Oh, what a shot from Ethan. Taking down Nico as he was crouching in. And Amanek will find the exact same fate. So that's going to be EG... So, you know, possible that he could do some damage here to Stanislaw. He's very low on health. And the grenade will take care of him. Oh, dear. That means there are a couple of rifles now that they can pick up. And the rest of EG not even really in a position to, to speed anything up. Good long-range spray, but Breeze has already been tagged, and he should have been dead right then and there. I'm kind of shocked that they missed the opportunity. That, that probably should have been a kill for Nexa. Hunter, though, sneaking in behind. He jumps off the ladder, and that might have been the only thing that saved Ethan, at least for the minute. But they're very low on health, and... Kind of a strange start to the match is this. We're just trading rounds back and forth. I think it's going to be hard for EG to try and win this round, but he might get a chance here. Straight headshot as Nico goes down, and now Breeze sneaking in behind Kenny, leaving Hunter in a one versus two. They, I can't believe it. There are so many times. Breeze should have already been dead to Nexa. Hunter probably should have that kill to Ethan. Mm. This is so outrageous. It's the pug life, dude. This is exactly what Evil Geniuses were hoping for. A smattering of tactics, and then just get it to be chaotic, get it frustrating, and well, I mean, these are the NA boys, man. These guys are just, this is what they grew up on. Yeah, but I think, again, I mean, I don't know, it's so hard to push it or put, but Nexa just needed to hit one bullet, right? So, like, sure. whatever, whatever kind of stress else is going on in that round, like, that's just, like, he had plenty of time. And again, it's just about tilting Nico. <laughs> that is the game. The game plan is just tilt Nico and you win. So let's uh, let's get at. I mean, if you're evil geniuses right now, that's the name of the game. And Stan is Law wins the duel versus Nico. <laughs> oh, nice shot. And actually, Amanek with a kill on Stan is Law as well. But that was a cool path that he took. Oh man, we should draw that on a map at some point. Breeze trying to hunt down Kenny. Could have uh, been dead right then and there. Hunter though, really quick with a flank. Incredibly fast, in fact. I don't know if they'll expect it, but they won't expect Breeze either. And he could have had the double. That might have sealed the round. And now, this flank has been slowed down. That shot, I mean, yeah, now they're certainly going to check. You can see Sir, he has to go for it. And he turns around and gets the second kill. Huge play. As soon as they take down... Six and one in their favor, and an aggressive push that Tarek is kind of really sees it coming, but he's still going to go down.
Good follow up from Ethan. It's really important. Now, they, I don't think the Hunter is there. Amanek going to get pushed in on. Oh, do they want to try and challenge this? It's dangerous. And Nico, he spins around and gets that kill. Now, 40 seconds left and a missed opportunity from Cirque. Otherwise, that would have been a great way to get back. Would have had them a 2 on 3. Could have maybe been winnable. But I think once they lose that fight, it's pretty much done. Triple kill for Nico in this round. No one even hits him at all. And it looks like it's working out in their favor so far. And there's only about 20 seconds left. So that kind of a kill as they're getting started is just absolutely devastating. They're in a lot of trouble now. 14 or well, 15 seconds on the clock. And they're going to go straight for the bomb plant. Can't even spend any time faking it. Tarek, he's got it down. So that's, that's the first uh, bit of uh, good news here. But <laughs> Ethan blows up. The good news has ended right away. And now it's Tarek and Sirk. Sirk is kind of far away, but I don't know if he's going to be able to outside everyone here. Strong headshot. That's the start. They need a lot more, though. And Tarek is just looking for it. It's not going to be possible. He goes down. So it's a one on three. But the bomb is planted for him. I mean, if he swings out to try and do this, oh, but he's going to get found by Hunter. It maybe would have been possible. But instead, it's going to be a third round for G2. Very few grenades for EG. Oh, and Kenny, he's going to clip Tarek trying to get out there. Nico playing so far forward that they just weren't expecting it. And the bomb is on the ground with about 30 seconds on the clock. And again, this seems like it shouldn't be possible for EG to even get close to a round win here. Kenny actually going to miss a bit of an opportunity. And they'll take down next. They're coming through the C connector. But Amanek, a very important shot there. I think saving the round. Now 20 seconds and they should not be fighting Stanislaw. Let him get try and get that bomb down to the very least. And he's running back for it. Knife out. And getting caught by Hunter. So, you know, haven't got anywhere. That's going to be really frustrating for Evil Geniuses and for Tarek as well. Because that's something that they should... Like, it's not the first time they've seen Kenny push brown halls. And I'm sure they looked at a demo. And Kenny was doing the same thing against Na'Vi. Trying to do the same thing. Pushing brown halls with the AWP. At least for a pot shot. Did it twice and a half against Na'Vi, right? So he's something you should be aware of as an option yeah oh stand on one health i feel like he probably should be dead already but um even jumping off they can actually be dangerous all right they're gonna live through the round here g2 with three people alive so their economy is looking pretty good as we go into the 14th round <laughs> like i really think that was <laughs> and if we go back to the earlier metaphor it's not clear who's drowning at the moment that's exactly it. Oh, flashes are in. And Nico, he looks away at the wrong time. I think he was counting on that smoke, but it didn't go up in time. Hunter, though, just fighting all over the place. And he's eventually going to go down. And this is a mad battle outside. But the orbs eventually look like they're going to be rescuing G2 out here. And Tarek, he goes down to Amanek. So Kenny and Amanek right now really doing a lot of work. Mm. And that's going to be the eighth round on the board for G2. Going into the 15th round where... Nade goes in. It does one point of damage to Breeze. Hunter, he's got a nice lineup here with the orb, but they are so close. They weren't expecting him to be that close to the connector. Now Nico is alone fighting. Amanek and Kenny are down at the back line with the orbs, but yep, he's going to get shot in the back. So he was just in the middle of nowhere. Nexus and C connector. So it's a three on three now. And the bomb, it's kind of making its way there, but not just yet. Interesting Molotov. I don't think, I mean, he could just go up the ladder if he really wanted to escape. So that's not going to make a big difference here. The bomb. It is getting there. Cirque is a bit worried about it. Just the idea that someone could maybe try and take him down while he's planting. Grenade. Oh, it's going to go over. Is he going to catch him? It's so close. That would have been an amazing kill to have. It could have been a three on two right then and there. And Breeze, instead of just waiting around, that sneak out is so effective. I can't believe Cirque even lives through that. He's just... Impossible to take down. And the final kill coming through. It will be a seventh round for EG. And you feel like they deserve it. They did just lose seven in a row. I mean, he could set something up. But obviously throwing that grenade will also give the game away. That'll show you that something is happening. And it seems like EG are actually set up to fight this long range uh, against the IV push. So, so far, no luck here. And reloading. Breeze goes down. And Ethan, he's feeling really trapped right now. And he's not going to get that headshot that he desperately needed. Amanek could get some revenge for his toes. And now it's Stanislaw in a one versus two. He's already got the grenade kill, but he's going to get found by Kenny. And G2 will win the pistol round. I think they needed that. It's all about the uh, hoplites in that case. You know, we're going to have to use one layers of speakers. Like layers of deagles. Layers of deagles. People standing shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> Damn straight. That's Tarek a strategy no one's done yet, but but that just means they haven't thought hard enough about it, I guess. <laughs> Get the riot shields in there and then we're, <laughs> we're good to go. <laughs> just go down this rabbit hole. Okay. Oh, actually getting shot in the face a little bit, but he's being pressured and the backup is there. 
Hunter actually somehow the one finding that kill. And it's up to Cirque. One versus two. Can he find the crisp headshots that he needs? So just a quick no scopes. He is being chased down. He'll actually get one more kill. Can he find Nico on the other side? There is a chance. Oh! He takes him down. Cirque with a triple and a one versus two clutch at the end. That is such a steal. There's going to be a second player in there that's going to be firing at him, so he can't. Ooh, wow. Huge entry. My God. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was clean. Stan, though, can he make it in time? No, he's not quite going to be there. Still wins the duel. Wow. But I love seeing that kind of play out of Kenny. I mean, he actually went for it. Now, next, are going to catch them out. But they're up there. Oh, no, and that's the bomb down with 45 seconds. Oh man, I feel like if they if they hadn't gone that far out, they would have waited for Nexa. He would have got that kill and they would have just, you know, waited. They had like 50 seconds. They could have easily done that, but the timing wasn't there for it. And I think Nexa is in so much trouble. Uh, well, evidenced by the fact that Stan got him as well. Quad kill. 35 seconds. They're going to go straight through. Wrapping around. Can they catch Tarek? He's in the corner. He continues the spray. It's a nice idea out of Tarek. He wanted to just transfer that onto the next, but it didn't really work out that way. Now it's a four on four. The bomb, not quite there yet. Nexus going to be going down now. Nico is going to be trying to put it down at Hunter. He's covering him. Going to get that shot on Cirque. And Ethan comes charging through. He's the only one that can save this round right now, and he's not going to be able to. He needed to get at least a kill and fall back or a double to even create space for Stanislaw to get out from Pop Dog and it just didn't it just didn't work out for him at all. The timing was just barely off. Can turn into a flanker coming through C Connector if he wants to play the ultimate next level here. Nico goes down. Oh, next he runs and Tarek, that's his cue to come. Now, this is really a lot of trouble coming the way of G2. The bomb is already being defused. No kit though, but about five seconds left now. And Tarek, he's going to catch one of the next has to go, but he goes back instead. And I think even if he wins that fight, it won't make a difference. That was just such a quick defuse. Beat, he's usually very focused. And if he's looking frustrated, that is not a good sign. Breeze flashed in. That's what we're talking about. A triple spray down. Set up with that grenade, and it just works perfectly. <laughs> they get wiped out. And remember, they were they were expecting it earlier. Yeah, slowly taking over the game once again. And at a critical point in the game, right? They're not going to have money, G2. They're not going to have many more rounds to play with. So, you know, 13-11 is not such a huge lead. But I think it, when it's happening the way that it is right now, it makes a massive difference. They're not going to be able to buy in this round per round right now. And so he's, uh, you know, he was really having that impact in the first half. He's starting to cool off a little bit here. And so the frustration may be getting to him. We need to see G2 trying to change up the pace. Well, they are definitely doing that. Hunter taking out Stanislaw. And that should give them a quick bomb plant but now they don't still have the weapons to really fight a lot here good headshot from Nico he goes down afterwards the bomb is going to be planted but it's a two on two and Hunter can he find the shot he can't Ethan takes him down instead it was close and he had it caught him at the right moment there so now it is all on Nexa with a P250 and they're going to be long range those orgs are going to be hard to beat they have more grenades they can just model some of them out of this position but they'll use the, the rifles quad kill on Ethan um, and now, straight defuse. So, it's probably going to be go time. Stanislaw and Cirque are going to be here. And Cirque, yeah, he's low on health, but he's so far back with the AWP. Does it even matter? They're down on the low ground, and Stanislaw is in an incredibly powerful position right here. All he has to do is hit the right timing, and they're not going to be able to do anything about it. They are checking for it. That is a great play out of next year, and maybe... A little bit uh, too swift for Stanislaw there. He probably could have just held back and waited for his teammates to show up. But now instead, the bomb is going to be down, and it's a three-on-three. Three. Yep, could be getting ahead of ourselves here as uh, Kenny has now got control of the upper halls. He was going to be he was going to flank Stan in a second there. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, the timer was on for Stan, but it's a man advantage for G2 going into the hold. And unless yes. Evil Geniuses get a kill very quickly here, they should probably be yep, yep. backing off to save these guns. And this is, I believe, the correct call to make. Too much time has ticked off this clock without them getting a kill. And they also, do they have a single smoke or anything? So even if they get, you know, one or two kills, they can't smoke the bomb and defuse it. All right. Well, okay then, Nico. That's an odd position to check, but fair play. Bomb yeah. is going to go up, and it will take uh, well, a couple of kills next. They, oh, they get wiped out after the fact. So that is, that's frustrating, but at the same time, it's not like G2 are going to be 14 to 12. Tarek sneaking on in, and if Nico just peeks this, he could be dead. Now, if he keeps going, Tarek, it could go the other way. Oh, he gets caught just at the edge, and I can't believe that he's still alive. And while that confusion is going on, 
so it finds a kill. Now, Amanek trying to see if he can bring it back. He's been so good this series, but they need him a lot more here. And back for... Oh, don't be shooting your teammates. It's a four on three. That looks like it was about to go horribly wrong. Tarek taking down Nico up from the sniper spot. And now they are in deep trouble here, G2. Two versus four. They're not close to getting a bomb down. And I, I bet, you know, that is another really frustrating round. I don't even know how Tarek lived through that early stage, but he did. And now it's Kenny alone. Yeah, man, they desperately need a bomb plant. They need that bonus money. Not going to be allowed, and they won't be getting that. 15 to 12, ladies and gentlemen. They are just a round away here. EG, and I mean, this map pick, you know, basic numbers. Oh, wow. That is some grenade damage. In a, this is a, obviously a round that they have to win G2, and it sounds like that. And Aminette goes down. Wall bank by Suck. Oh, God. They're getting slaughtered. Trying to get out of main and not even being allowed to. Kenny fighting inside of the fire. Derek hunting him down while his feet are catching flames. What a ridiculous way to finally win this map. Nexa, one versus five. Gunning over the Deagle. But EG, surprise pick on train. And it works out in their favor. That is well done. And it is really cool to see how they managed to do this. It, it was a bit shaky at one point, but... They brought it back, and I, I've got to say, I think that's so cool. They could try and go for, like, a retake. They know all those T-Smokes are going to be coming in, and this is something that I think last time around, G2 just didn't do very well. I think those retakes were lacking a lot, and look at them pushing through. Oh, it seems like madness, and they nearly get it done. How is he alive? How is Nexa not dead? Two people emptying basically their entire clips to try and catch him, and somehow jumping saved him. Breeze and Ethan are now in a two-on-four. And, I mean, EG, you see the logic, right? They wanted to catch them off guard. They wanted to try and turn the tables. And instead, it's now Breeze and a one versus three. And they're already on that bomb with the kit and everything else. And bodies being stacked in front. It will be the round for G2. <laughs> Ridiculous way to get started. And just try and get in and get that defuse right away. So, I mean, that can definitely work. Even if no one dies, that can still work. So, let's find out. First flash is being set up here. Now, a couple of smokes on top. And I think EG know, yep, the pressure is on. Although, Tarek, he's going to be right in front. Can he get the angle? That is not working yet. That defuse is two seconds away. And they're getting all the kills. But not the one that mattered. Just being held down. And like I said, you don't even need kills. You just need a thick enough... Uh, and sometimes that's just the way it goes. But Tarek, you know, it's just a split second could have spotted that flank. And instead, it is Hunter getting the drop on him. It's them. It's Hunter just slowing everything down now for Evil Genius. The hard rotate comes off MG2. But if you start facing against AKs, Ethan will still take your head off. And he is the quiet killer here for Evil Geniuses. Doing his job on train. 21 kills for him. When all the focus, you know, is on everybody else, Ethan is just quietly plugging away. Which is, which is just fine. But now this is just going to get really interesting because 4-on-4, four four, it's totally winnable for EG, even in spite of the fact that they were red early on. Hunter is back to try and get that lurk in. They know it, but they can't spend the whole round waiting for him either. Aminet with a kill, and there's Hunter finally getting his just reward. So when in fact it is absolutely not and they're all over the site but look at middle and look at the b-bomb side so many people are rotating in here Stannis all shut down and trying to create that space the bomb is now dropped and Amanek even buying more time this is a really great round but Tarek and Breeze decided to fight back and now suddenly it's a 2-1-3 Kenny's gonna get caught Breeze with the second kill of the round for him and actually not much chance here for Hunter with the MP9 so what an interesting turn of events today it's gonna be Breeze with the third kill and EG pick up their first round and performance for him on the CT side of train, but there's Ethan catching next side. And Ethan is just he's uh he's he he's hitting heavy. Can he oh, oh no get through? And this is actually getting a little bit awkward. Yeah, I think Breeze is caught sleeping because I mean Hunter was not even quick. He just stumbled around the corner. Another deadly nade from Kenny, and now it's a three on three. If you're a little bit too stressed, he's not seeing him. There we go. What is this meme of a round, Anders? That's you know, that's what happens when everyone just loses their mind. I mean, the bomb is down there. He could be walking into another free kill. Tarek will get a couple there. So, yeah, I mean, G2 not being patient, in spite of the fact that they're the ones with time on their side, right? What is this meme of a round? 
it's evil geniuses have to go now. There's a huge yep. opening for them, but they have to go right now. Kenny is going to be in position, and I think it's I think the opening is closing. It's fast closing, but they still might have just some time here. Ethan trying to clear that space, and Amanek with a kill, double kill for Kenny, and that certainly will shut it down. And you might have been right on the money with the timing there, Samla, because the, again, that you just Kenny showing up, and that was the last possible second. If he wasn't wasn't there, it's on Amanek to get all those kills instead, yeah. and that just seems unlikely. Now Stanislaw is on a mission, and I like these kind of missions. If anyone can win them, it is Stannis Law. I hold them in really high regard, but it's a one on five. You know, they they really they really work out in your favor. They're not common. What would the AI say? Do you think in this sort of scenario, maybe like a ninety six percent? Yeah, yeah, it's giving a four percent. I don't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fifty fifty on the AI prediction. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Well, bomb is being planted. That's the first part of the mission accomplished. Ninety six. No, oh no, it's changing a little bit. All right, all right. <laughs> It's not going to happen. 99. It did say 96 at the beginning. I like how even here, as the bomb is getting defused, it's still 99% as if... Uh, Stanislaw's hiding outside of the B-bomb site now that we're getting back on topic with the uh, with the bomb, in fact. So, I mean, yeah, could be sneaking. If he, if he sneaks in, gets a kill. Oh, they're coming back. This is working. G2, look at the over rotation. Way too quick. Hunter, he could be walking back into certain death. He's never going to know that Stan is here. Oh, this is some absolutely cheeky play now. He does reveal it maybe a bit too quick. He's pushing in. The bomb is further back. Stan left that behind at the very least. And he's only going to get the one kill. Nico showing up for the double instead. Oh, I just, I love the, the, you see how the play is unfolding for EG. They're actually doing some really smart thinking in this round. When it goes, uh, goes wrong and he just takes it. He owns it, so... Glad to see that uh, kind of play. Ethan leading the way with the bomb this time around. He eats two nades, and this is not going to be shaping up nicely. as Nico's going to devour them. And... Oh, okay. Just a random spray through. That works out. But uh, still a two on three. Nico playing near the smoke, expecting for them to boost or look over. Reeling himself slightly and getting into a fight with Breeze that he will not end up winning. Do they lose this round? But, at, you know, already they've made it a 2-on-1 instead of a 2-on-2. Like, isolated here. He is at a bit of a lethal off angle, so you, you could be walking into certain death. And indeed, he's going to pick that one up. Circus on the other side with 40 seconds. And Nexa goes down. It's probably sick. still better chances than earlier. Oh, what a sick play, though. Yep. Oh, Kenny heard. Oh, Kenny was just close enough. This map. That's what, I mean, that's one of the... Oh, no, he's actually doubling back. Mind games back on mind B. games. He's wondering if Kenny's been... No, was he just close enough again? <laughs> <laughs> no way! Oh, he's got some ears on him, doesn't he? 15 seconds and smoke goes... Oh, just not in time. It is so close. That's really, I mean, showing presence, committing some of their own utility. But here's the geniuses. But Amanek's position makes it really hard to bait out G2. Because yeah. he's so far up, they pretty much know... That, and Nico's in middle, so they actually have, I, I agree, it's really a good idea for EG to try and do this, and they've been great at it, but this time, I just feel like G2 have all of the info. And now Nico's on the flank. He's going to catch a kill right there. They did take down Hunter, and the bomb is at least being planted. Oh, Ethan! That second kill is huge, and it turns the round, potentially at least, in favor of EG. Grenade, could it catch, could it kill him? Ethan, not quite. He's going to survive, just doing 10 damage. Amanek also coming up, so it's a bit of a double flank going on here. Nico, they have all of the health, all of the advantage right now. They should be winning this round still G2. Bit of a missed opportunity. Ethan, looked like there could have maybe been a kill, and now the Molotov freeze. He's stuck in here. I don't know if they have another grenade for him, but he's in trouble. Jumping out on top. He is going to get the kill, but not in time. They have the kit. And it will be an eighth round picked up here from G2, although it got so much closer. And I remember what I said about them coming out with like two or three people alive still. And I like this. That's a very cool little trick to try and look all the way over. And they see the flank coming as well. They definitely know, though. Stanislaw maybe could get caught a little bit here. Amanek, oh, he pushes right into him and takes him down. Now they're trying to see if they get that defuse. Not going to happen this time. There's a huge crossfire being set up. And EG are going to find a fourth round. And look at the money for G2. This fourth round, I mean, it almost carries with it another one. Breeze is blown off the building, in fact. Jettisoned. Oh, no. But, I mean, there's a four-man setup here at the ramp. Missed opportunity for Kenny. There's a lot of people here, though, for the CT side. And I don't think they're expecting that EG, because normally that is not what is happening. Two on two. After what, like four seconds of fighting, just half the team is dead on either side. And now, Cirque 
Uh, just showing his hand a little bit there. Amanek being drawn back, but once again, EG, this is right in their wheelhouse. You know, get into a two-on-two -two or a three-on-three, -three, and then have the time to move around, and that's what they're doing. They Tarek, yeah, they're, they're baiting them in. It doesn't matter that he's running downstairs. All it does is, is you know, make Amanek run across the map for Tarek to pick him up. 13 seconds on the clock. He's waiting, pretending not to be there next. Uh, last second. Oh, no! He gets the kill, and now he's going to have to try and... Oh, he actually smokes it up and picks it up. That's a huge play out of Tarek. And next up, running right into him. He's waiting for it, and he gets a straight headshot to take him down. It's an ace for Nexa, saving the team and possibly saving G2 in this particular group. That is outrageous. Deep grenades, smoke, Smolotov flashes, everything being thrown at Hunter, running through to pick up a kill, and he turns around and Nexa's there. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Absolute madness. This is out of control. Now it's Cirque and Terry left, and they've got to be scratching their heads thinking, just what is going on for the CT side? That is, that's some deep, very, very deep A aggression, and Cirque is going to be walking in. <laughs> <laughs> My god. 60% win rates, both of them. Oh, the timing for that smoke. It can't get better for Stannis Law. Instant punish. A minute left on the clock. Amanek also getting run down, this time by Ethan. And now the bomb at least should be planted. And Terry took at this late flank through the middle. This is so good. They're all right on the other side. Could get a fifth round, and they will. The double spray with UMP. And 5 to 10 is how they split it in that first half. Ethan actually ends at 17 kills. Oh, this is interesting. I still think they're in trouble, EG, but uh, maybe they can bring it back in the second half. We'll find out after the break. You know, like casually, just on the default, like 2A, 2B, 1 middle. This is something that's worth watching. And they don't quite get the bomb down yet. In fact, it's making its way to the site, but they get two kills. And that is absolutely worth it. So now it's a three on five retake, but they're boxed in. They can't escape. They can't get out. They might have just done it, EG here. Oh, Ethan's going to get found. And Breeze with a couple of good shots, but um, G2 are in trouble. One versus four. And Hunter, he can't find it. What a beautiful round. This that is so cool. So cool, Anders. That was so cool. So they're just going to stick around. Oh, but they sneak in and they find a really good angle against Stannis Law. And he's in trouble. He's going to be going down. And that weakens the defense. And with a follow up shot on Cirque, this is crumbling way quicker than it should be. 20 seconds on the clock and Breeze. He wants to play for time. He's finally going to get the kill. Turns for it. Nico is quick, but it might not have been enough. 14 seconds here. Tarek gets one more. And Nexa in a one versus two. I don't think he put the bomb down. He has to fight them. And he won't be able to. Ethan will drop two. Tarek with a double kill of his own some pistols picked up a couple of nades but it's a essentially a hard eco for g2 going into this round and Tarek is gonna feast yeah three kills like that that's why you want the m4a4 he would have ran out of bullets after like the first two if it was the m4a1 yeah but it would have sounded way cooler so you know did he pre-fire the corpse there was there was there someone on the ground because that actually gives it away i think that means they know and that is going to be a problem this retake will not be easy. Stanislaw trying to tap that bomb. He's already on it with two seconds left. This might work. I don't think they know. Oh, they get the shot through the smoke. How how much time was left? Like less than less than half a second. 0.23. Oh my god. Dude, they cannot catch a break, evil geniuses. Like they cannot. All the clutches go against them. And that round right there. Outrageous. Well, it's worth mentioning, and if this is what's necessary to start getting Surf to have an impact, uh, get him that off. More of that, right? Because right now he is sitting at uh, 32 ADR with five kills. So that puts him up on six kills. And, well, you know, if you can get that off, you know, you can get a little bit of a poison performance, something really rocking up. Let's see. This is the shot. Yeah, that was a real shame it actually looked like that was going to connect. Now, you can't shoot through both those boxes. Yep, it has to be at the angle, but not enough to take down Nico eventually. And I guess with the help of Turk, he did get taken down with the Deagle. He's got the right idea and ooh, nearly getting the timing. But it's going to be up to Kenny now. One versus two. And they are in front of him. They picked up some rifles. It's not quite enough. He does have a kit, Tarek. So he could go straight for it and just hold it in. Two seconds now. And Kenny, is he going to be there in time? He's got the right idea, but not enough time for it. 
That is a nice steal, and it makes up for the previous round. Both of them rocking around 40 ADR, so they're, they're struggling individually. But Ethan and Tarek right now, with you know, with Breezy's help, those three, they're the main driving engine, and they're going straight into the action. Yeah, and that's a nice idea, but unfortunately he can't get back from that position either. Stanislaw is going to get dropped by Nico, and this is just pure pressure, just pure aggression coming out. They, I mean, think about every other round. They've been waiting till I think, sub-30 seconds to do anything at all, and now they're just straight in there, hammer right to the forehead, and get back around the corner without dying. Yeah. Then he's back helping Stanislaw for when Nico goes for the swing, and, like, the whole round is different, you know? Yeah, there is. And they've, they've sort of given up on the mid-push. They, they realize, mm, let's not do it. They know the orb is somewhere, and I think they're afraid of getting shut down. Oh, the timing is ridiculous. Again, kind of like a coin flip. If that could have just as well been Nico walking right in the breeze, but turns out the other way. 20 seconds on the clock, which is a bit scary. I mean, they're going to get the bomb down over here, maybe, but there is a chance that you just get a shot on the, on the guy carrying the bomb instead, and, I mean, then you're in trouble. Hunter and a kill. Oh, and they find Cirque right at the end. But again, that was 10 seconds on the clock. If if they try and run for a bomb plant and Cirque just snipes him through the box like he's tried a couple of times. Excuse me, go all in on this. And G2 know right now that there's going to be some shenanigans. And so they're holding pace. They're really passively, passively just waiting. <laughs> or just going to get uh, two spray kills this one. I like the idea that it's, you know, it's Hunter emptying his entire, his entire magazine, and then as he's reloading next, as that to take over, so when they come for the smoke, it's like, nope, there's just more bullets. Mm -hmm. These timings are crazy. Oh, but Nico, oh, wow, through the middle. This is so dangerous. That he's, oh, he's hitting the shot. Oh, what an opening. Three kills for Nico. That was world class. The fact that he got in there to begin with, but just the follow-up is amazing. And yeah, they know this flank is coming. Okay? <laughs> he wants to win this map. They want to see that nuke as well. And Cirque, I don't think there's anything you do to stop this. They're throwing everything at him at the kitchen sink as well. So might as well jump over the edge of the map at this point. Kenny will find him, and it's going to be 16 to 9. We see a little bit of a fist pump there at the end for Nico. That was an amazing round out of him and a good win on Vertigo. Yeah, I think I just love this map on so many different levels. Hunter is looking for some early fight, and he's got some teammates in Rambo. <laughs> There's so many people there. And he is going to get shut down. That worked out exactly the opposite as to what G2 would have wanted. They're like, we're going to we're gonna fight. Like, Hunter will take away, like, some of the attention away. And then the people on ramp will push up behind them. We're just going to, we're going to crush them. And it just exploded right in their faces. Now the bomb is down. Oh, a fresh smoke on Mini. Yeah, but they never, I mean, how are they ever getting through here? Three on four with Amanek practically dead. They've got no grenades. They don't have a kit or anything else like that. This should never be happening. And Exa, well, he's even worried about a potential flank coming through from ramp. Gonna make the dive down. It's some pretty good skateboarding going on, but again, I don't think it'll make the difference. Amanek with one kill so far in the retake, and that's the last one that they're gonna get. Breeze with some pretty good action, and EG just, you know, the bomb is in lobby. Amanek is kind of close by. This could be, I mean, it could be a little bit dangerous here. There's the shotgun shutting down Ethan. And bomb is on Cirque. Tarek goes down as well. They're committed to this. And right up behind them, the shotguns are tearing them apart. Stanislaw, he has to win this fight. Oh, he's almost out of bullets, but not quite. And he's going to survive with just 17 health left. Refrax are in. Hunter with a triple kill while we're praising... Ethan, and now it's a 2 on 3 sneaking in his Breeze. He definitely has the jump on Amanek, and suddenly it's a 2 on 2 Kenny is upstairs, and Nexa is outside, and he's lucky to still have a head. So close, wasn't it? Yep, he could have been dead right then and there. Now they got to go vent diving, and this is, this is where the fun really begins on Nuke, because once you're down there, I mean, the pressure is on for the CT side to try and, you know, fight, get down here without dying. And already, I mean, I don't know, that could have gone both ways once Cirque missed up the initial shot. But now Kenny has to walk in while scoped, and he, and he can't change his scope now. He's just trying to catch the timing. He actually did hit Breeze there, and he'll get the follow-up shot too. Getting down there is going to be tricky. Cirque is right in that little room, and Kenny could lay claim to, to being pretty decent on this map. But getting five in a row like this is really huge. Like, that's, that's going to really set you up nicely. Even though some of the earlier rounds were really expensive... If they can walk out of this one with, uh, with a bit of a lead, it's going to be fine. Well, it's the same feeling as on train, Anders. I mean, yeah. that's, that's what you have to be thinking, because this is the only other map that's really clear-cut. Well, Mirage is there, too. Not nearly a CT-sided, but, I mean, 53.5% uh, CT-sided across something like 468 games in 2020. So, 
Still CT sided, Nuke. If you are actually getting T rounds early. Saved all of it for the final map. Exactly. For the final map when it mattered most, right? Because Vertigo was already going to be a bit of a hit or miss. I like that. I like actually think that's a really cool idea. Hunter wanted to like get the, the extra cash right at the end and do some more damage, but... Oh, wow. No one being caught by Breeze yet. He's been waiting there the whole time to see anyone, but that isn't happening at the moment. And now we're down to 30 seconds on the clock. And I don't know if they want to rotate back on out. I mean, sometimes you can go back to the A-bomb site, but I don't think that's going to be easy in this particular round. Kenny finding a kill, taking down Stanislaw, and they're going to catch Nico right in there. A follow-up shot. It looked like he fired right between them. And at 15 seconds, it's going to be a bomb plant and quite a top retake. And now an impossible retake as Tarek will get that kill and the follow-up as well g2 they had it lined up they knew where they were coming they had the reinforcements at the b bomb site and they fail every single duel as they come into the site except for the one on stan's law that is shocking and stan just eats himself in there anyway so whether he he lives or dies that's kind of moot it's the other ones that come through behind him kenny i think you're right shoots through the two of them through that molly it's a heartbreaking situation for G2. They had the correct call and everything. The setup is there. Yeah, I'd be really excited about that. This is the thing where it's like, uh, Nico's going to struggle individually. He is going to vocalize that. And you're going to be struggling with that sort of scenario if you are G2. I Wow, I can't believe they made it out of that. Ooh, but they up. run right in. They forget about the fact that there could have been another person there. That's a little bit outrageous. That's kind of EG getting ahead of themselves. They definitely, definitely would have won that fight, I think, against Nexer if they had just been a bit more careful. So maybe maybe the celebrations are starting a bit early now on the EG side. Breeze sneaking in and catching Kenny with his back turned out in the open. And just like that, it is a man. Well, it's a huge health advantage here for Breeze. Now, 28 seconds, and he doesn't really know where to look, and he doesn't have a lot of time either. So, yeah. 8 seconds, he's going to come running right down. His next are going to be there on top of him. He just lands, doesn't even try and do it silently. Planning in the last 2 seconds, and they're catching Nexa! Oh, wow. A 2 versus 1 clutch for Breeze. A bomb site is wide open for anyone to watch. So if, so if they don't go check ramp or lower and just walk into the A site, well, it's going to be trouble, and they will. That smoke is is a clear indication. That's the smoke you you throw so that you can't get your face blown up as you're coming out. Climbing up behind. Oh, Nexa! Two kills, including on the bomb. What a massive win. They could have just as easily got down and got the bomb planted. And now, two on three. There is no bomb plant yet, so I don't know why they're being that aggressive. The Nova shotgun, though. And then the bullet to the back of the head by Amanek Man. A round by G2 that. And if he can win a fight here, I mean, if, if this becomes like an, an A execute and he, and he wins Hut on his own, that is huge. But he's going to get Molotov back, actually. That's kind of interesting. Grenades don't really do much in return there. 47 seconds, and they're going to try and move in. Smokes are up, but Hunter, he's in a really awkward position. He's going to get that one kill. No one's coming through the hut right now, but a couple of kills in return will make it almost impossible to hold this site here. Amanek, he's got a good headshot, though. Hunter goes down. The spray continues, but not in favor of Amanek. A pretty good double kill. 28 seconds and sneaking in from the high ground. Oh, nearly transferring, and he gets a headshot as well. Nexa saving G2 again. He did it the previous round. The only two rounds they have are thanks to him. And it's all the pressure on G2 still. This entire rest of the map is all going to be about G2 and what they're capable of mentally. They want to get it really quickly up of the rafters. It's just going to be a trade hunter down here. Oh, he lines them up for a quad kill. That is magnificent. And Breeze on his own. One versus three. I, I mean, again, with the M4A1, it is hard to spray down that many people. And somehow he does. Nico <laughs> trying to get involved in the action. <laughs> Still nearly loses. He's very low on health, though, and he should not be winning this one versus two. And in fact, Kenny will find him. But all praise goes to Hunter. Wanna be losing this round. Because again, like, I, don't, I just don't think there's no mental recovery after that. They're such a fragile team right now, you could tell. Kenny and Amatic are retaking from behind, and are they going to go aggressive at the ramp? That would be so cool if they try to take it over. It seems like they've stretched themselves pretty thinly on this map. Tarek with a little bit of a hunt and a couple of kills for Breeze. That is the entire flank gone. And Nico is trying, but not succeeding. And Nexa, I don't know, like, you, you're not going to get this done. You might as well back on out. So, a huge round won here by EG, and G2 just not able to to stand up even just against pistols that was a hard eco anders yeah that was yeah well deagles was, right essentially <laughs> like deagles couple smokes for the smoke wall that's all they had they didn't yeah. have nothing fancy i i don't even know was he flashed through by kenny yeah he got set up for a flash okay. from a teammate and again i think he got caught on the wall 
Well then, Nexa also getting uh, overwhelmed in that uh, part of the map. And he goes down, so five on three. Stanislaus holding that side and keeping Kenny occupied. They're just, I mean, they're just so spread out, G2. None of them can help each other out. Kenny with a knife out is going to get shut down. Man, this is getting pretty brutal, isn't it? Oh, no, Hunter living up to his name. Boy, it pays off. He woke up at dawn, trudged his way out here onto the plant, waited in that corner, and he is rewarded with the kill. He will feed his family for the next six months. Good man. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> no, <buddy>. he won't. <laughs> Because, they, again, remember, this is what we've been hammering all, all map long and all series long, which is we need to destabilize Nico and eventually... Pretty hard to make it back here, especially with the weaponry. Nexa is up close with it from us, but there's an army of people on the other side. He actually is going to get two kills and Whoa. nearly could have been a quad spray down. Followed up by that is Hunter and low on health on the other side. I mean, that is so unreasonable. That should have probably never happened. And Tarek, he's going to be walking in himself, pretty low on health. In a one versus two. Now, it would only be fitting if he could win this, though. Indeed. Yeah, chance for oh, a knife. No way. Think, of, think of the content. No, he's not. Think of, the con <laughs> think of the content. But if he goes back into this corner, he could theoretically still throw it on. Oh, but Amanek will find him. Oh, that is... That, he's got a... He must have held his breath that entire time. He's going to burn his corpse. And they get a fourth round on the board, which is probably nowhere near enough. But as a sort of mental victory, at least they do that. Oh, getting one to the face. I was just, I was, you know what? I didn't want to say it, so I'm like... You started with an N, and I was like, oh, no. Yep. I'm, in my own brain, that same thing was happening. That is a very nice smoke to save for for an after plant. The fact that they didn't use it in the beginning and, and actually had that, that's pretty good. Oh, nice shot, though. Nico coming in with a kill, but the retake is still on. 2-1-3. On Hunter, though, he's snuck up here, but I think they know now. He's made some noise. The defuse, it's going to happen, and it will be a 12th round for EG. They get a team ace. Every single person picks up a kill each and well that could be sort of good and bad it depends on on how far in you get with the first couple of players if, if you die right at the turn of the corner here it's going to be bad news but if you get far enough in fair play it'll probably work out all right nico up close on oh, missing the chance and they will get that entry that they needed hunter pretty good deagle shot but he needs to land at least another one here doors being closed and then opened <laughs> swung it in his face in fact and that will be the retake. No, we're paying you the big bucks. Get in there, click heads. And well, there you go. Stan is law. Just cannot catch a break versus Nico right now. This is fantastic for you too. He's going for it. Oh, wow. They actually stand inside of the fire. Amanek could have nearly died just then. And Cirque is going to be catching Nexa. That's a very nice kill. And it's a two on three in spite of that really great opening. I mean, that was looking so good. But um, only for like a minute. Or not a minute. Only for like five seconds. They have another smoke, so they can sort of try and block off one of these uh, angles. They flash their way through for a bit of a peek, but uh, two on three. They are already getting fired upon, leaving Hunter alone. He's going to get one. Now he's just toying with them. Can he actually escape? He wanted to set up the grenade. It's a nice idea, but Breeze will win the round, and that's going to be 14 to 4. Lies, but they did. They were well aware of it, and well, Kenny, I mean, at some point, Kenny's got to start making some plays as well. He is a fragger, and well, Tarek with a double at ramp. They're getting annihilated, Anders. Hunter is alone in a 1v4. He's got plenty of time, and he's got the bomb in a single smoke and an AK, so. And he has the bomb, but he can't actually get onto the site. Yeah, they're just all set up for it. Not even close. 15 to 4. EG, a single round away, as you said, from sending G2 into the showdown where... A execute, which they are. They're going to explode the door, throw the smoke, but they're going to be shot in the back in like two seconds. And Breeze, he's even taking care of business in Hut, shutting it all the way down. My God, EG absolutely decimating G2 on this final map and sending them right into the sh uh, showdown. I can't see them doing anything from here on out. 40 seconds. The bomb is on the ground. They're in a two on four. They have to fight their way back out into lobby win that fight, reclaim the bomb, and then go back and try and see if they can pick it up. It is unlikely. Zerg actually goes down, and Nexa, that's a pretty nice uh, couple of kills there. Down to 25 seconds, though, and Breeze and Stanislaw are on the other side, and he's up close. He goes down. Nexa with a triple kill. Can they find it? No! It doesn't matter what happens. 16 to 15 as EG take down G2, and, I mean, in tremendous fashion towards the end. This was a really, really, uh, I think inspiring win for them.